Welcome back to the Mayfield Podcast, the podcast by mates, for mates. Yeah. I'm Jackson and I am joined with... Yeah. yeah this episode we've got to teach you yes. how to get girls. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I've been coming, we've got e-commerce. Yeah. We've got bitch talk. Crypto. Yeah. Oh, no, and disgusting. sexting on the one. Like always. Guess who's doing the sexting? <laughs> Oh yeah, it's we, not me. We or got Chip. special yeah. guest Chip in for sexting. <laughs> I'm joined with Chip McChicken McGrath well. and Jordan Commercial Fisherman Cox. God. <laughs> Fisherman. <laughs> That's so good. I don't get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. No, get it. Yeah, you go out and fishing. It's an IQ joke for sure. Yeah. 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 No, nice Chip. It's an IQ right. joke. <laughs> now, I, now I'm fucked. I don't get it. Huh. Oh, don't fucking don't be a pick um, me, man. So, boys, what made me this week? <laughs> oh, I, I'm not. I can't. I'm just gonna get in and get out, eh? Because the longer wait, we're here for, wait, get the out, more, mate. On the left, shut the fuck. The up. more I'm gonna. <laughs> Oi, don't talk to Jack like that. You know what that reminded me of? You remember when we were watching the footy on the couch this weekend and me and Coxie were having like a proper conversation. Like we weren't. And next minute you hear Chip blow up next to it. He's like, are you fucking serious? And he goes, I'm talking to you guys. I was talking me before and, me and you Coxie had talking. a constant conversation. <laughs> nah, that's and cat. Chip just like. That's rubbish. Wait, I heard something in my ear for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, and it, I didn't realize. like a mozzie going around. Yeah. No. I was talking to one of you before you Big started talking. Big fucking mozzy by the way. Big fucking Oh yeah. Fucking mozzy yeah, by Yeah, fuck up, cockhead. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. Fucking before we go into what made it broke us, can we talk good. about yesterday? No. Oh, well, I'm going to talk about yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> We're so hungover. Yesterday, it was Sunday Arvo. Came here to film the podcast. The camera was flat, so we had to put it on charge. So we went down. <laughs> so while it was charging, oh, we went fuck. to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't come home from the pub. <laughs> and that was proceeded fuck. to take it into the early hours of Monday morning. Uh, that that today was probably the worst day at work I've was, had. Probably my whole fucking apprenticeship, to be honest. Vintage. So to put it into perspective, <laughs> we had plans on recording two episodes yesterday. <laughs> we went down, we... Ended up playing rock, paper, scissors yeah. to decide. Yeah, this is how it all happened, To happen, decide man. if we were going to stay for, what was it, three one, drinks? It's one beer or five. Yeah, one beer. Go. Yeah, because Chip was like, if I win rock, paper, scissors, we stay for one more beer. And I was like, all right, if I win, we stay for five. Yeah. And over the weekend, me and Chip had played rock, paper, scissors like three Heaps. times. So I studied what he was going to do. Yeah, and, and I had a little bit. I knew he fucking was, <laughs> I knew I just, he was hit me with rock and we won. After two drinks, it turned into fucking shots. Oh, I and wish then, it was body shots. And then we got a crow going. We had, there was about fuck. six of us. But uh, the, the <laughs> what we're trying to get out of it is it this episode. he once again fucked up. <laughs> All right. All right, we're back. Sorry, yeah. technical difficulties. You guys wouldn't even notice that we disappeared anyway. Yep, so I don't know why we're saying it. An editing masterclass. Ed- editing <laughs> masterclass from Jordan. So the worst class. cunt out of this crew. <laughs> yeah. That's who it was from. You yeah, know, what he said. You know that saying, performance loves preparation. We do I'm not sh- live by that yeah, I'm whatsoever. Sure it, I'm sure it does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Shit, we wouldn't know. I'm sure no, it does. Uh, fucking all, man. The problem's right. been resolved and the program resolved. will continue per usual. Yes. Um, yes, tip. resolved. No, tip. you said put something weird. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I was hearing it. Sorry about it. Chungus. You thought I said Rissol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why he perched up. Yeah, funny cut, eh? Real funny Chungus. <laughs> let's hit us. Let's hear what made him broke you. Oh, I'll go ahead then. Thank you. <laughs> um, what made me was the, uh, the weekend just gone. Um, oh, probably the biggest weekend I've had the entire year, which is pretty fucking alarming, and I felt yeah. it today. Do um, you want to explain what you did? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've just said it. To, like, it was a big time. weekend. It was um, a four-day one. I had Kedema, oh, the Samba Boys in yeah, Brizzy on Friday. <laughs> so I went down to Brizzy on Friday, and then we had, what do we have said? Oh, someone's A birthday. celebration. Yeah, the graduation of oh, sorts. It wasn't a birthday. And then Sunday, um, a day where you're not really meant to get on the piss too hard turned into what we do best, which is- Fucking 
catastrophe. Being fucking Cat- idiots. Catastrophe? <laughs> is that the word? It was catastrophic. Yeah. Oh, in the moment, though, it was probably one of the funnest nights I've ever had, had <laughs> in my know, life. You know how you get like a little kick when you know you're not meant to be doing yeah. something? That's what we were yeah. fucking yeah. riding. We had the, the biggest kick night, ever. Yeah. 100%. And then obviously, I wasn't here last week, but what broke me is um, no one will know this yet, but I did my ACL. Amongst Bro. other things While I was playing Fuck <laughs> it You did not do your ACL You're, be, you're walking Yeah this will be good You're walking This will be good This you will be good, you, this actually, be good. Been, I actually forgot about The whole incident But yeah. you, you have not done Your ACL I did no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, You've, you've oh, sprained your knee That's what huh? you've done You've sprained Fuck your up, knee Fuck up cunt Fuck up I've been walk for a week it, yeah. uh, That's so what a sprain does He goes I couldn't walk for a week yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whatever, cunt. Right. Yeah, I forgot Jacko out of all their mates is the smartest cunt. And whatever he says is true. Not a physio that told me that wouldn't be true. That wouldn't be true. You were jumping the last two nights. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't jumping, huh? Yes, you were. Oh, whatever, cunt. Whatever. Fuck me, Christ. <laughs> Um, I did. Um, I so did. What happened? We were playing mixed Oztag, and some yeah. two dudes fell on chip. Uh, reports are there's a lot of speculation. Was it a weight bearing issue? <laughs> chip has quickly silenced. Cunt, if the it was claims. a weight bearing issue, you'd fucking have no knees. You fat cunt. <laughs> Yeah, so no, the ACL injuries that I had me. Well, all right. So what the physio said was, I did my ACL, um, <laughs> a PCL, and my meniscus. Stop but laughing at him. Whatever yeah, these two funny cunts I did. Me, dude, I but Jacko, you. Jacko would know best. Jacko would know best. <laughs> Just like when you, what did you do in footy that you fucking <laughs> broke something? <laughs> <laughs> you ended up doing fuck all. How many weeks ago did it happen? Three. Oh, um, that reco- no wonder you recovered. Yeah. Oh, you Three must weeks. have Jesus on your yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. yeah whatever, can't. Man, whatever. we didn't mean to make you angry. And then um, what else broke me was <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, we were at the 21st and I left and Coxie and Dragon were using my fucking esky. And oh, yeah. they left it in the house for a week. For a week, it was sitting in the house. I went to use it last weekend, and I opened it, and nearly got knocked the fuck out. Some cunt had vomited all through it, <laughs> and it was sitting in there for a week. Did you chuck the esky? Nah. <laughs> no, no we used it the next esky. day. But um, I had to wash fuck. the cunt, but it was the yeah. most foul thing I've ever been through. fucking my degenerate life. vomiting yeah. an esky. So, a coxie, oh, I it hated a coxie for a bit. I, hated well, for I didn't know. I just thought there was I just told you to clean the fucking esky like four times because it was his dream. You didn't tell me. Oh, fuck. Dude, no off. more arguing. Yeah, yeah I, know. Um, yeah, so, I know. He didn't tell me. He did his ACL. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what broke me. What about you, fuckheads? Well, I'm going to lift the mood here. Jacko, let's lift the mood, eh? Let's, okay. let's make this a team effort. Um, what made me <laughs> Saturday night, our Uber driver, he was fucking flying us home, eh? Like, just speeding, like, non-stop. <laughs> and he's listening to Payphone by Maroon 5. Yeah, he was a good like, cunt, eh? Screaming it at the top. He's like, he's gone through a breakup. And it's just, it's just like me and Chip at, like, four in the morning. <laughs> going and thrown around in the back of the Uber. And it was so fun. It was, fun. It was awesome. That sounds like um, a pretty good cure for heartbreak. Yeah. Fucking becoming an Uber driver. 100%. He was 100% in the middle of um, what, What's also made me is my mate Chip's got a hickey on his neck yeah. <laughs> I didn't have that one written down it just came to me oh, um, just, oh my god I thought we left that when we were 40 he lost a fight with the vacuum <laughs> cause he was trying to fuck the vacuum <laughs> I got two of the cunts actually what, what broke me is I don't have a hickey <laughs> <laughs> Nah, it's, we were sitting, we were, we were, oh, we were, we, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking spit it out, can Holy fuck. So we're sitting around having drinks on Saturday night. By the way, all we do is drink, apparently. And Jacko Mad says something cunt. funny and I snot rock. <laughs> oh, oh, that was so funny. Oh, like, in front of a group of about 10 of us. Mainly women. S- snot rocking straight on my shirt in front of everyone. It was so fucking it was so embarrassing, feral. but it was hilarious at the same time. It was time. so feral. And it wasn't just like an ordinary, <laughs> like a dribble. It was it was like <laughs> one of those sick ball ones. of yeah. snot. It was, it was more like I've been a snot rocker. Like I it. bet you it felt good coming out though, because it was a fucking lot of snot. <laughs> uh, I couldn't even believe it just happened. Just straight on the shirt. And then like tried to like hide 
knocked my beer over, and I was just, it was, I was just falling apart. It yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty gross display. In all fairness, it was awesome. Anyway, what made um, break you? Uh, what made me was watching Aussie Shore yesterday. Yeah, one of oh, the that, greatest that constructions fun. constructions of reality TV oh, ever. Australian it's, film has hit the nail on the head. Yeah. How, it is fucking, it freaks me out, but I, <laughs> it is actually it really fucking just, disgusting. There's, there's, fucking there's one thing of it that freaks me out, no, which we're not going to talk no, about, but about fuck, that. it does my head in. <laughs> <laughs> no. Are <laughs> 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 you fucking serious? Uh, are you serious about that ACL or what? <laughs> yeah, do um, So, <laughs> Aussie Shores is just as gross as fuck reality TV show. Go watch it. It's on Paramount+. Plus. There's your ad. Do you reckon it's grosser than the English version? I don't, I never I don't watched watch it though. Version, no. Yeah, me neither. It's so, it's have it's you watched it? Bits and pieces. Oh, nah. it what do you reckon? Fair. Do you reckon it's grosser? Oh, the, I reckon the English version, they're probably a bit more fucking pommy obnoxious. Pommy comes it's funny, but... They're eh? obnoxious, the pommy ones, but the, the Australian version, they are just like dead set bogans. Though that yeah. one chick is so bogan. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. And then what broke me was I was in Cairns <laughs> for the whole last weekend. At the footy trip, and we were drinking kryptonites. This cunt is laughing again for no reason. And for anyone who does what, no, he's, keep going, keep going, keep going. he's been doing this the last four yeah, days, man. Right. Right. You're making like, me sad. No, keep going. And for anyone who doesn't know what a kryptonite is, it's like Midori with double black. It's I'm pretty sure I've got to have like eight fillings now because <laughs> it's my, like the fuzziness yeah. you get on your teeth, and you wake up and your oh, teeth are sore. Nothing yeah. worse. Yeah, no, no. they fuck me up royally too. Yeah, that's. Fair but up. yeah, bit of a scattered start to the episode, so we do apologise for that. Oh yeah, just a tad. But the podcast is often a, a representative of our state of mind, so just oh, just and bear and with at us. The moment, oh yeah, shit. <laughs> my my <laughs> mind today was the equivalent of being in a fucking in a ball curled up in my room crying. <laughs> it, it wasn't good, man. Now, we did have a little yarn sent in by a listener, which I think would be pretty rude not to bring up because it's about one of our good friends, Chip. One of our good friends. Oh, please stop me, man. I'm Should I me. drop the name or? Um, yeah, you can say his name. So this is from Aiden. I've got a yarn that perfectly sums up the type of funny loose cunt Coxie is, so I thought I'd share. <laughs> I've just written it myself. <laughs> yeah, this is so... Don't know about the funny part. Um, I can think of a way better word that starts with an F. <laughs> <laughs> back when I was in in, back when I was in innocent grade seven. Uh oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> God, God, <laughs> God, 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 keep reading. Keep reading. Keep reading. <laughs> Coxie was my buddy in grade eleven. Oh, what a fucking weirdo! Every morning, our school had PC or homeroom. Some called it, and we were in the same one. I would always have games up on my laptop every morning. And one day, Coxie tells me to look for this game called Brothers. <laughs> this was before I discovered all that stuff, so I tried to look it up, but the site was blocked. Coxie, his mate. And my brother were losing it and I was so confused. Anyway, on the bus home from school, I typed it up and fuck me. Little innocent grade seven me got flooded with porn on the bus while <laughs> sitting next to some random chick. For the next hour on the bus, oh, I was shitting myself, stressing out, hoping nobody saw. That's my yarn about Coxie. Keep up the good content, fellas. I now have a crippling porn addiction. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sick oh, boy. I should have never had a buddy at school, eh? <laughs> no, no. I thought he was going to come out straight there and be like, Cox, he did some weird shit to me. I don't know if you, you remember. Know, he probably sees you as some sort of wizard though now because you like showed him <laughs> showed him the realm of possibilities there's that poor, are out there. Wait, that, it's pretty weird though, isn't it? Showing a year seven of porn. Yeah, so what are you in grade 11 usually? 16? Yeah. What's a year seven person? Four. Young. Like, young. Like, legal. <laughs> <laughs> He would have been. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That was no. I don't even remember doing it. It's all allegations at this right. point. Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> something you wouldn't do. Eh? <laughs> Are you a brother's guy? No, I'm, I'm, I don't think I've ever. Did done I told? Have I told you about this well, story? Well, if I, if I was chicken with a porn was that I said Pornhub, it would have given it away. So Did right, I tell you yeah, about true. this story? Actually, I don't know if I've told it on this, but the time that. I got like locked into a Brazzers contract. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'll, I'll tell you, this is fucked me. Like, so, against your wheel locked I in. think it was like Halloween and, the, and it, it popped up as an ad like for free now. I was like, fucking oath. I've always wanted to see this. So I, I punch everything in and I end up getting it free for this month. Like, I do. 
And then the next was it month, a good and then, oh, it was fucking all time. <laughs> the, ne- the next month, a dear old like something ridiculous like eighty dollars comes out of my ca- account. I'm like, what is that for? And sure, sure to be, it comes out as Praz's subscription. <laughs> and I was like, oh, what the fuck? It was free. But they sent me an email that says like your next month will be um, taken out vi- like on this date. Yeah. And at the bottom it says like unsubscribe, <laughs> but at the bottom of the page it's white. And unsubscribes written in white fucking writing. So you've got to highlight <laughs> everything to see the hyperlink. Then you press it. So I did this. So the first month I did this. Press to unsubscribe. Oh, congratulations, you're unsubscribed. I didn't think of anything. The next month, the same amount of fucking money gets taken <laughs> out of my account. I do the whole thing again. And then on that page, it's like, um, you've been unsubscribed. Click here to, on small writing. It says down the bottom. Click here to confirm. <laughs> oh. I fucking. Oh, that's when I got out of the cunt. But it took like a hundred and something dollars. So I, yeah, pretty much got a crippling porn addiction. What was what was the experience awesome. like though? Is it just what, like the experi- porn on steroids? Yeah, much? The, yeah, no. Tell us about this website. The yeah. experiences. How I could describe it in one word was just magical. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if, how would it compare? Say, say, porn ups are five. Out of ten, what would Brazos yeah, Brazos be? Is out up of 10? there with like a nine eight. It was so <laughs> good. really. It was well, what's so Twitter good. then, Coxie? <laughs> oh, <11? laughs> it was so. so I've heard. Um, well, I actually wanted to talk to you boys about something. A couple of things that happened on the weekend. Oh, you can how, talk to us about anything. How's man. it? Um, I'm driving to Brizzy on Friday, oh. and I, I look to my left, and there's this car, and it's like it's a bit hot box. I was like, what the fuck is going on there? And I look, and the cunt driving is holding this huge bong. Ripping cones <laughs> and then just passing it around the car. Always made to hidden cones on the way to Brisbane. And I, I tried, I double tagged it and I was like, what the fuck? Am I like seeing oh this right? Tap has, he's like, yeah, no, you're seeing that dead right, eh? I would have watched him drive down the highway. We were driving in probably like five minutes. They probably all both had like two, three cones Holy each. Fuck. Holy fuck. And then like, fuck. they were punching it, man. It was fucking oh, that but like, the, it, cause it didn't what start. What suburb were you going past? Oh, it would have been Cabo for sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Caboolture, okay. Um, and then how's the situation that I got myself in on Friday night? I was in the Met, which is disgusting at like- It's a it club in a, Brisbane that is just- Yeah, it's so fair. Absolutely ranked, but magical. but magical. I was walking up the stairs and these two cunts having a push and shove at the top of it. So I'm just like walk, walking past and one of them knocks both my drinks out of my hand and I was like, for fuck's sake, cunt. But I just, I, didn't, like, yeah. I was pretty fucked. I didn't really care. They both leave. Five minutes later, a shaky comes around and like feels my shirt and he's like, he points to the, yeah, he's the one that had the fight and starts fucking dragging me out of the map, <laughs> like holding me like in a fucking cop oh, position. Really? I was like, cunt, get off me. He's like, I'm fucking taking you out. I was like, I didn't do anything. Can you just stop touching me? He's like, I'm fucking taking you out. I was like, can't stop touching me. I'm going to fucking hit you. <laughs> and he, he did let me go. Ooh. And the, but that, <laughs> well, I was going to say, they gave me, when I got kicked out, you know, you, you normally just get booted and like, you yeah. just, whatever. they put a red stamp on me. Wait, huh. this stamp. They branded you. Yeah, they fucking pent me over and burnt me with a cattle <laughs> crib. Nah, this stamp, it was like some sort of ink. I couldn't get the cunt out for three days. Yeah, right. really. Like it, I don't know because I was trying to get it out, obviously, at the front of it to get back in. But like, <laughs> so I don't know what this ink was made out. Of. I thought I was had a fucking tattoo, man. Like it was fucking. What, so empty. did they? You didn't get it resolved. They just fucking. No, nah, they. Job. I was just too fucked to like argue it. Yeah. I was gonna call him a um, pretty word, a word that would have shut him up, but I couldn't call him it, obviously. Um, yeah, that's all <laughs> yeah. I wanted to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> um, no, that's good. Well, man. I'm sorry to what hear that. Happened? Chip, I don't think that was happened. It's unfortunate, mate. Mistaken identity can happen to anyone too. Yeah. Wait, before we get into this next segment, we did a little challenge and we asked our listeners to make hot edits of our mate Lockie. He was on on the last episode. Mm. And, and overwhelming an amount got yeah, sent in, yeah. which was fucking awesome. <laughs> Terrible for him, but <laughs> awesome, yeah, awesome, for, awesome us. for us. But we've lost his arm. We've lost who sent them in. So if you sent in a video, can you send us another message reminding us? Yeah, because if, they're lost in our DMs and we want to send you them. If money. you're the person who sent the edit in with the daddy's home yeah. um, backing track or whatever it's called, yeah. um, send us your account number, BSB, all that jazz and... 
when he gets fifty dollars, and our life changing amount. We're out here yeah. changing lives at Mayfield. Yeah. God's plan, shit. Imagine just like we like, asked for like, oh, they're BSP, yeah. and then just like <laughs> withdraw all their money from their account. <laughs> yeah, we have so great hackers. <laughs> no, yeah. it's like God's plan. Jacko's exactly like Drake. Pretty much anyone in our friend group yeah. is like Drake. It's Jacko. Yeah, if you pick it up, what I'm putting if, down. If you know um, anyone who's like. Well, P D D, Coxie and P D D, like yeah. sort of same sort oh, of. Oh, okay. Um, no, but yeah, keep your eyes peeled. We'll probably be doing more of these little like content <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, yeah, we're thinking about turning this into like a giveaway. <laughs> no, 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 but like specifically content, like yeah, get like yeah, like what what we did before. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice headed. boys. <laughs> yeah, Fuck yeah, it. yeah, we're paying yeah, people for hot headed steel. Yeah. All right, Coxie, what's on now? <laughs> anyway, so throughout the week, uh, we put on our story. We did this ages ago, but we just want to revisit this sort of topic. Revisit. And revisiting now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we asked our listeners, look, is there anything you guys need advice on or you need a safe space to tell us what happened? And that's what we've done. And we've got... <laughs> a fuck ton. We've got a fuck ton. So strap yourselves in. Yeah. Get Oi, comfy. Which once again, we're the last people on earth that should be answering your advice. No, exactly. And that's the point of it. Like we yeah. know that we shouldn't be giving you advice, but like that's kind of why it's funny. So um, if, and just to remember, it's just general advice. If it goes yes. completely <laughs> wrong, hell, <laughs> we've already said it. We're Please, not going to claim it. Legal scripting. This is all general advice. Yeah. Um, but we normally know what we're talking about anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But in all seriousness, do it. In all Best of luck. <laughs> now, well, just as always, the Mayfield listener does have the occasional... Spelling error. Yeah, spelling error. Mm. A spell, a spelling error um, and just absolute shithouse direct message. So just brush it if it's shit, all right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so our first one's... Why is Chip always pinching and twisting his pull back? <laughs> Bro, Coxie's got off easy here, eh? No, dude, I agree. No, nah, Coxie's got dude, off really you easy. you have a little bit. You touch your toes a lot. You fucking yeah, scratch I, and sniff an yeah. awful amount. What, what do you do, Jacko? Scratch my balls. I've got you my Jacko. finger up my ass after episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you... Oh, no. We weren't going to say it. You got that butt plug that you always wear, yeah, eh? Yeah, that one with the tail. Yeah, that we are. <laughs> yeah. 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 yanking on that. Thing. Nah, if you're a man, you know the pinch and twist or the pinch and roll is the most effective way to scratch your nuts, so... Yeah. yeah. Dude, are my nuts be scratchy? <laughs> Um, from Daniel, just want to apologise for the awkward as fuck interaction at Good Slice, boys. I fucked it. Oh no, that was yeah, awful. that was fucked. What happened? That yeah, we're at Good Slice. Where were you? And we're why the fuck were you at Good Slice without me? We we offered, yeah, no, we we <laughs> yeah, we know you weren't, but we offered to take you. Yeah. And you, you said Kent's no, probably. Yep, that's who it was. He actually yeah, was. You fucked <laughs> No, so we're at Good Slice eating pizza. And then a dude comes up to us and he goes, oh, <laughs> you guys do that podcast. And we're like, yeah. And then he was, <laughs> we didn't know if he's taking a piss or not. And then he goes, yeah, I wouldn't know. You guys just look like podcasters. And we're like, huh. <laughs> and yeah. he goes, yeah, I haven't listened to anything. Yeah, I, I think he just said like, yeah, oh, I, don't really? listen. I don't listen. I just um, saw you somewhere. Yeah, and that- I was like eating my pizza and I was like, Okay, like, then, what the yeah. fuck's going on? <laughs> like, is, was he, is he having a go at us? Like, I was so confused. And then he sent us a DM as well oh. as that, saying sorry. Explaining himself. Yeah. No but worries, If you guys want to say hello, say hello, but holy fuck, don't bit be of, weird. Bit of advice, come and sit on Santa's lap next time. <laughs> 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 All right, the next one from Byron is, what do you do if your sister walks in when you're hanging out the back of your miso? <laughs> oh, can't. I've never heard it put like that. That was fucking poetic. Hanging out the back. Hanging out the back. Uh, um, I don't know. Um, sure her away. I don't uh, reckon. I See, oh, i got to ask you. i got a little bit of a... I'll dive a bit deeper into this one. I don't think you can pull out because if you pull out, then <laughs> your sister's going to see your cock. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, like you can't is get, it, no, what? but you can stop the rhythm. You, you can just hold there. And, you can hold there and be like, "Sorry, I'm a bit busy right now." But what if you like? What if you reach it out and like that's the last bit that gets it out of you, and you like <laughs> drop a load Boy, everywhere? We've got to use different words. <laughs> we've got to use different words. <laughs> Reap it out, <laughs> Jesus Christ, foul! <laughs> and then he said, "Drop a load." Yeah, what the fuck? Well, nah. I'm gonna just, I just reckon road. it's safer. To, I reckon it's safer to stay. I reckon you if, are bang on. You can't. You can't pull if it. You, if you stay in, that is like the most dominant fucked up <laughs> thing you can do. Because not only are you still doing it, you're looking her in the no, eyes. You're not doing it. You don't keep like going. You just stop like oh, your motion. You're marinating. Like that's what Mormons do. They <laughs> marinate. Well, do you know that? Really? Yeah, Mormons marinate. So. Ma- Mormons are soakers. Yeah. 
Is that what so it is? Why do they, why do they soak? Oh. Um, oh, apparently if you put it in and then you just like can just keep it in the air and then not move back and forth, like it, it passes as not having sex. So this this seems like oh the God. biggest mind game I'd yeah. ever be able to play. Apparently you can do that and then a lot of people like to jump on the bed. They'll get their mates to jump on the bed. Bullshit. <laughs> Is he uh, taking the piss? I don't know, man, but he's freaking me out regardless. <laughs> Cox, he fucks like a Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next uh, one, please. Right, yeah, yeah uh, we don't really know how to answer that scenario. We're off to a just fucking terrible start. Maybe just no, apologise. No, just just the next day be like, oh, I'm sorry for last night. Like, it was a bit weird, but oh, you just next time, fu- fucking You just got to cop it on the chin. Yeah. You just got to cop it on. Have you ever been walked in on before? Mm, no. Not that I'm aware of. I'm oh. sure chips <laughs> picked through the curtains a couple times. <laughs> I, like I have, when you hid I, in my fucking closet. I have been, but yeah. we're not going to go into that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, next one. Got some insanely dusty DMs from a guy from work. He was my one, na- one mate, but it's weird now. Sorry about those messages. <laughs> Someone I work with. <laughs> Do you want to figure out? Oh, you, sorry, you I, ha- <laughs> I had a moment, eh, and I just it went right over my head. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Dusty, as in he's hung over, I was on the piss. I, yeah, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. We might need another message to clarify that one because I'm still don't know what Dusty <laughs> actually fucking means there. Eh? No, no, I get it. Well, um, okay, you answer then. <laughs> it's quite simple. Well, the guy shot his shot and missed. <laughs> yeah, like he shoot a shoot. He obviously missed. <laughs> yeah, very clearly. Don't make, it, don't make it awkward though. Like I feel like you got to be the one. If you're denying him, you can't make it awkward. And then, then don't lead him on either. I don't think she's leading on. She's denying him. <laughs> no, but like as you got, you make it very clear what you yeah. want, sort of thing. I don't know. Do you reckon guys and girls can be just friends? Of course they can be. <laughs> <laughs> everyone always, everyone always argues. I think they can be. I think they can be. <laughs> Uh, not really. Nah, no. I don't chance. know. Is that like sort to a point? It's hard. They can be friendly. It's hard. Depends if they're mid as fuck. As long as one's oh, ugly, so. then they can. Yeah, no, no. Actually, though, yeah. that's fair. Yeah. All right. Another one from Caitlin. Been seeing this guy for four months. Even met my family. Found out he has a girlfriend. Do I tell? Definitely, but make a burner account when you tell. Yeah. So it doesn't fall and back change your you. email because otherwise yeah. they can do the password reset and guess what your email yep. is. See, Coxie's well, done some it weird seems shit like you've life, done man. this and before. In, just in case, use a different phone number. Definitely. Because <laughs> yeah, you have to. You have to. You sure. have got to tell. No one deserves to be yeah. fucked over like that. Oh, that, that chick will probably have trust issues for the rest of their life. Yeah, yeah. Just you got to you got to tell and you got to be the person to tell with evidence if you're yeah. going to break it up because otherwise if you leave it in the in that person's court who's cheating he could just get himself out of the situation. Yeah. I actually I've changed my mind. No, I just continue dating him as well. He's probably <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Bad time. Um, <laughs> from Kai, come home from a 3-day bender and have a planned dinner with Mrs's family. What what the fuck? Oh, like that advice mean? from that. Oh, yeah. No, I know oh. exactly what he's going through. Oh, like he's coming home from a three-day bender. How should he act at a planned dinner with the missus's family? Have a cold share before you go. What a hundred. Cold share fixes all. Yeah. No, have a cold a share and go there and just- And a you, tug. You really have- Yeah, a tug for sure. Yeah. You have to go there um, and just clear everything out of your mind because if something slips out like you're just back on the bender with your mates, you're going to be in a huge amount of trouble. Mm. Couldn't have and, said oh, better. get stuck into the food early and then it is, <laughs> then like you don't have to talk. And then just soak in it. <laughs> Next one uh-huh. from Zach. When one of your best, what do you do when one of your best mates start dating your ex after six months apart? Depends oh. if you're right with it, eh? It doesn't sound like he's right with it. Depends how close you were with your ex. If Ooh. you haven't moved on, I reckon it's a dog act from your mate. But if you have know. moved on and you've told him that you've moved on, then it's just two adults doing... Their own business. I I have I have exes that I wouldn't I wouldn't care at all if my mates dated. Yeah, so it depends you know I mean? on a lot of things there. Right? But then I there are some as well that you would care. Yeah. So it's a bit depends on who. Like there's what four exes he would care and eight exes that he wouldn't care. Do you reckon? Yeah, Coxie's got a Coxie's yeah, been yeah. around. You're gross. <laughs> he's, a, he's a fair. Oh, oh, oh we're the fair ones. Shit, yeah. but it's too oh, true, isn't it? I can't fucking. Get Why are you being so serious, cunt? I'm feeling nonchalant. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone make a nonchalant edit of Coxie? No, I don't With do daddy's that. home in it. Yeah, no. Um, next one, thoughts on gimp masks. Um, what is a gimp mask? What is a gimp? 
<laughs> go to the next one. I'm not getting caught. Is. After you've requested no. edit, I'm not going to describe what you're saying. Oh, actually, you don't know what it is. Guys. Yeah, neither. Do you know yeah, what it I'll is? Yeah, I'll Google for you if you okay. ask the next one. Next one is from Dylan. Say you've just graduated. A, do you reckon it's reasonable to RQ your teacher's IG? She's fit as. Yes. Yeah, for sure. 100%. If you graduated. That was our thing, hey, with all the teachers at our school, Ethan. They were all just like. Um, when we graduate, like I think it was the night we graduated, we actually added them all on Instagram and that. And we yeah. like actually see them, like we oh. go to the pub with them every now and then too. What? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, we actually Shout do, eh? Hey. No, we don't. Our, our cam, our oh, cam. When have you ever, yeah, bullshit. When have you I've, ever told us, oh, boys, just go to the pub with the teacher? Well, one of them was at Bluff when we were already there, so I saw them there. Fair. And then the Kiwana Bowls Club was another one. <laughs> nice try though, Coxie. Was it an organised event or did you just happen no, to run that, into No, the, they were both organised. I was just running to them on the second time. <laughs> He's a fucking legend, but <laughs> um, yeah, no, I reckon. I mean, if, you're, well. if you're 18, though, if you're 18, then reach out to your teachers. Otherwise, you're just gonna get them in trouble. You're gonna yeah. get yourself Duh. in trouble as well. Yeah. <laughs> this is what a gimp mask looks like, by the way. Oh, so it's like a BDSM. I'm showing them my Snapchat memories. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like a BDSM yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, hundred percent. Is it meant to insult the person wearing it, or what the fuck? Like, uh, yeah. How do you even get into that shit? I don't know. Where'd you get yours from, Coxie? Uh, the adult shop. eBay. Second hand. Timu. <laughs> Boys, need your help. Do I send my ex narcissistic boss the most heinous email for closure? First of all, get a PS4. <laughs> ex boss. <laughs> no, there's no point. <laughs> there's, there's no, no. Boy, what? I don't know. Maybe you can, though, to be fair. Your ex boss. <laughs> I don't know. If it's your ex boss. Yeah, fuck it. I thought I, th- I thought you meant ex at the start, yeah. and I was well, gonna say if it's your ex, don't do that. Don't talk to his boss. But if your boss, yeah, do it. Do you, will who it cares? Really, really do help it. the situation. It won't help the situation. No, it'll make it, it. The only way it could go is either the same or worse. So, I mean, yeah. it's not gonna do anything emailing him because he's not gonna show anyone. So if it was, if it's up to me, what you do is you just review it. Like no, Google, just make Google review. Rumors, rumors Google review him. would be perfect. So I don't think I yeah, can spread take lies out. about him. I don't know. I suppose if you need closure that bad, why not? But at the same time, it's a pointless exercise. I bet yeah. you. In the, I bet you in the long Put run, your you, energy into something I, else. I bet you in the long run, you'll um be more proud of yourself if you don't send it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but also, I'd send that shit that quick. <laughs> oh, I'm reading something out. We got <laughs> name drop <laughs> straight away. Oh god! So he's cheated on his miso with her best friend. Only made out with her. Oh, and then slept with her on Friday. Okay, oh, so he's, going, he's, he's yeah, gone the whole way. I, li- yes. I, I like how he sort of gave us an excuse at the start. Oh, then, only made out. Yeah, and then, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then followed it up with the worst yeah, possible yeah, thing he could have done right. a couple well, of days I've written after. I message and I just thought, okay. Is there so, any advice? Look, Does he want advice on what? I mean, first of all, you're a fucking why idiot. Why the fuck did you cheat on your missus? Second of all, was her best friend. You're not getting yourself out of this situation <laughs> ever. No, but what was the best friend doing for fuck's sake? Like, no. why was she? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, no. why was she doing it? Like, <laughs> what? Okay, no, you're both fucked. Yeah, you yeah, both. Yeah. You're. To be fair, they both probably deserve each other if they're both doing shit like that. You're, you're first of all more fucked though than the best friend <laughs> because the best friend look, it's worse being a cheater than a homewrecker. Oh, who said that? <laughs> That's what I'm saying now. I can't. We can't just even give you advice to it. This. Yeah, you just got to cop this one on the chin, mate. Um, mm. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, let's know how it goes. Yeah. So um, let us know if you're still here with us in the next two weeks. You know how they talk about like the perfect crime. Yeah. That's the opposite to the perfect crime. <laughs> and that like, is the imperfect yeah. crime. And if you're thinking of maybe like starting a relationship with the with the best friend, just know that if she's done that. Yeah, she'll do it to you again. She, yeah, it's going to happen again. But you're, you're, you're still, she'll, you're she'll still a shit. You're shit still a shit cunt, though. If that's how it started. Um, thanks for listening, though. I appreciate you as a <laughs> listener. As a listener, but God. Uh, what about this one? We're talking to a guy at the moment, and he says he wants to take things slow. I feel like What's he's. It? I feel like he's ghosting me, though. Thoughts on that? Yeah, that happened to one of my... <laughs> did someone... Did Coxie send that one in, or what's going on there? <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking to a guy. <laughs> no, I, I, mean, no, I know this guy. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. Is he the profile picks me with a wig on. <laughs> um, no, it's not a bad thing taking things slow. Honestly, just... 
just enjoy it. <laughs> no, nah, there, there's normally a reason it. why he wants to go slow. Like he's probably been hurt before. Yeah. Or he's playing multiple games. But yeah. Whatever. And look, hopefully he's not playing multiple games. Yeah. All right. To be honest with you, he's either been hurt before or he's probably bu- trying to slowly build a roster. So. Yeah. It, it's either one of those. Sure, it's not Cox. Either man. one of those. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's, it's, it's the gotta nice be, It's got to be this guy. It's got to be this guy. Cunts yeah. maybe had to be the biggest yeah. pig. It's got to oh, be this guy. Yeah. <laughs> he can suck. Um, Dude, you were showing us pictures of you and your gimp mask before. <laughs> you're going to Nah. Ask my girlfriend's dad permission to ask her to marry me. Um, and he gave me a super vague answer. Please help. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, you've already asked, brother. Fuck him now. Yeah, <laughs> no, what don't the, fuck him. Don't fuck the dad. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, nah. I'm like, what? I don't know. It was what? like, look, mate. Um, I prefer if you didn't. But yeah, look, you- honestly, if he's given a vague answer, he's either super overprotective. Or he has the dirt on you. He has the yeah. beans on you. Yeah, if you have he knows something his daughter's done. Ooh. Exactly. Fuck, so, I probably just gave him crippling anxiety. I know. For the so rest of the year. you might need to just do a little bit of groundwork and understand is she bad mouthing you, that sort of stuff. Otherwise, or, if he's just been overprotective, it's whatever. I'll just do a follow up, ask him again, and be Would like. Would you do that, you reckon? Yeah. Like you'd ask for the. Yeah, yeah, sort yeah. of have to. I, I'd ask. Yeah, I'd ask. But we'll say, what would you do, though, if it went wrong? If he's like, oh, mate, I I'm not too listen. sure about that. <laughs> I'm not too bad, cunt. Yeah, I'd, I'd be like, well, I've done my part. Am I going to see you at the wedding, cunt? Or? <laughs> yeah, literally. 100%. I don't know. No, I definitely think the best way to go about that is have a follow-up and just be like, look, you sort of, yeah, nahed me the first time. What's the go behind this? Yeah. Yeah. But make sure you sit him down in the spot where, like, like, it's a good time for him. Like, maybe he's just, like, really busy or something. Take shit. him to the pub and get him absolutely rinsed. Yeah. And then feed and him. then get all yeah. the secrets out feed of him. Feed him, yeah. pack it. And then you're <laughs> sweet. Get the beans out of him. Well, um, yeah, get that, nut, <laughs> get that nut out of him. Okay. Um, <laughs> this person. I accidentally called my dad while getting busy with my new boyfriend. He stayed on the call for three minutes. Oh. Oh. That's a pretty fast it could have wank. Been, like, they could have been at the fucking park or something. It could be like a rabbit gun. Uh, the old booty call, eh? Well, I accidentally did that the other day, the other weekend. Not while having sex. We were drinking. Did you see how shocked I looked We were then? drinking and I'd called like my old real estate agent. Oh, from when, <laughs> really? the, from when you were buying that $30 million home. Yeah, that one <laughs> on the water. And the Ferrari. Yeah, which is no good. He's got anything to say about this? Why? Why? The the most important question is why did he stay on the phone for three minutes? He's probably he's probably thinking like hello, (laughs) and then and then she he's and then he heard oh fuck, you know he's hearing daddy and going like yeah like I can't hear probably. (laughs) Surely that would fuck the father up so bad. Feel bad for the father. No, but knowing like as from when our parents answer the phone, most of the time they're like this. What? Yeah. What? Like they no, probably didn't yeah. have a fucking clue what was yeah. going on. Mm. What about this one? My mate's brother, fifteen years old, got a chick pregnant. Holy demon! Got a chick pregnant? You say me? <laughs> <laughs> a chick? <laughs> fuck! I sure as fuck hope not. You fucking you. serious? <laughs> you fucking serious? When's he gonna fucking tell me? What a way to find out that you're pregnant. He go. Oh, look, oh man! Pray for your mate. Yeah, no pray advice on that. No. Sure. Why didn't you get a plan B or something? It's too late now. <laughs> no, but like, you if you're that sure you don't worry. Plan like. D. <laughs> yeah, that's it, bro. I called Coxie this morning and he get, he was that fuck this morning that he call, he, he calls me and goes, I was in the shower this morning and I was looking at I was like, fuck, we're going to we're gonna be late. We're going to be late. And then he goes, oh, and then I remember it was just me and I'm in charge of what I do. <laughs> How fucked is that? I was that hungover. I was like, hurry up. We're going to be late. I was like, oh yeah. And I just turned the shower <laughs> off. I full forgot I was running the show. <laughs> I full forgot. Yeah, uh, when he, when so he told fun. me that I was in such a haze, I was trying to make sense of it. I was like, is this kind of like serious? Dude, it was This was so after we, you and me had been at work for two hours. Dude, right? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, actually, a good question, this one. Well, let's how, hear it. <laughs> how long is too long to be sleeping with a guy casually or does a time period not matter? Depends if you both are... Actually, Coxie, you answer this one. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hear the question again With more time How long is too long To be sleeping with a guy casually Or does a time period not matter I think uh, you should definitely There should be an element of time Where you wait Because otherwise If you're just casually sleeping with them you, It's like tran- it's, almost transactional Yeah 
Which I suppose if oh, both parties are agreeing, nah, it doesn't well, really matter. I feel like I'm a big believer in if you're sleeping with someone for long enough, you end up going to fall in love with that person. Yeah. Cause so, <laughs> how long does it take for you normally, Coxie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got to sleep with someone first. Oh, she had me at hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Um, there is, a, there is a time. If you don't want anything, like honestly, just cut it off. No, but if you're up front <laughs> from like the start, surely you could be. I think also- This is coming from the cunt that's never been single. When you're <laughs> sleeping with someone casually, it can like fuck up potential relation, oh, future relationships potential. because you've got, you're in a pickle already and you want the best of both worlds almost. So yeah. potential I feel like, renters. I don't know. Don't just can constantly do it all the time. Uh, it's hard to say. Eh? It's like an individualized experience. Yeah, I feel like you're either you're either in a relationship or you're not, and I don't think you should consistently be sleeping with someone yeah. on the side. Because when you start talking to someone you're genuinely interested in, it's sort of disrespectful to be getting play out on the side yeah. while you're getting to know someone. Yeah, which I know yeah. probably happens all the time. But well, it definitely does happen all the time. Are but you, it's not you're all good. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, 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 that yeah. fucking <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Um, another girl goes, Hey guys, I'm hanging out with this guy I've never hung out with before. Any tips? His don't say. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> How's the delay from Tip then? No. Oh, I get it. <laughs> oh, thank fuck. Uh, any tips? If someone you don't, you've never hung out with, honestly, I'm, I don't know. I, I got nothing for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a girl. Do so I know. Try, Do try, try, don't, try hanging out with them. Don't just watch Netflix yeah. and get your freak on. Yeah, and don't just like have. <laughs> what the fuck? Why not? <laughs> but Why don't, not? Don't just like go somewhere where you can't be doing something at the same time. I feel like I feel like if you don't know someone, it's kind of good to be doing something or at least being yeah. somewhere. You Bring know a Viagra. I mean? You know what's fucking awesome? Mini golf. I know that's cliche. Dude, yeah. Mini golf, I reckon, is like probably yeah, but you, if you, yeah, but you, yeah, but you've had some bad moments at mini golf, haven't you, with partners? <laughs> and if you lose, you've got a weapon as well. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but if you win, it's just awesome. Like, <laughs> yeah, everyone loves winning mini golf, and it's it actually and you is get really, to rub and it if you in get their drunk too. The, the, the movies is also the easiest thing ever because you don't like the movies. Nah, movies you don't say a shit. word though. Movies oh, but that's what I mean. Like, that's why it's so <laughs> fucking easy. Nah, movies is a shit first date. I'd, I'd hate going to the movies on the first date. Yeah. Another good. The funnest part would be getting lollies and chocolates yeah, before, but, and then you. Oh just, yeah, that's the funnest something that happens when you're 16 in the movie theater, eh? Right? Yeah, we're not all <laughs> sick fucks, man. It is. I saw you. It the, is. I, it I saw is. you in the back row, right, dude. Um, another one. If someone cheated on you, blackout drunk, would you guys still stay with them? No. Nah. Nah. Drunk. You know what they say? Nah. Drunk. Drunk thoughts are sober thoughts. No, That's drunk right. Drunk thoughts are sober, sober <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! What, what am I a prophet? Nah, what? fuck that. Because then you're gonna have trust issues every single time yeah. they drink. You're gonna be like, oh, is he cheating on me? Or every time they go to a club, you're just worried. Like, We've nah. all been. Blackout Oi. drunk multi oh, multiple occasions in our life, and it has never once crossed no. either of our minds no. that oh it, it'll be alright. It's kind of justified. I'm pretty fucked up. Well, right I don't know why can't it always say that. Eh? It's like, oh, no, I was so drunk. It's not a cop out because you no. can be blackout and you still have a decision making process. Yeah, and right? you got like morals. You're, you're still choosing to do it. <clears throat> it might yes, yes, you can do something and regret it, but it's if you're with someone, you know you're doing the wrong thing with that. That's not an excuse. And when you're black up, you can't even stand on your feet, let alone fucking pound someone. So, <laughs> yeah. like, they weren't yeah. that drunk. Like you're getting the full job done. They as weren't well. that yeah. drunk. Like, there's a couple steps that go on to there's sleeping of, there's, with someone. There's heaps of steps that go on to sleep with someone. You can't just be doing this blackout. Yeah. <laughs> Rubbish. Bull, bollocks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who was that? <laughs> Name <laughs> <and> shame. <laughs> nah. Uh, we've got a DM from. Uh, Oh, I'm not going to say your name, actually. I forgot we can't do that. They went to Thailand and accidentally got with a lady dude mm. so yeah. drunk that he fucked him and didn't know till the day after. Bruh. That's some shit out of the hangover, though. Okay. First after things first, that, uh, I've been watching some travel videos and they look like fucking chicks. Oh, yeah. so, oh, like, but I watched a TikTok the other day where I was scrolling. I was like, oh, that's... She's not really bad looking. And then she spoke and it was a dude. And I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> well, I, I, I've just fallen for the trap that every 50-year-old white male falls for. Wait, imagine, like, imagine if this is how you found out, eh? So you like went back to theirs 
and midway through there, ah, oh, turns into, oh yeah. Like, imagine <laughs> here, like, finding out like that. But like, what what happens if you're like getting head for play, and then you don't like you're in too deep. What happens when Bro, you're in too deep? I've actually I've heard. Oh no, story. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I Remember know that story. story actually, that is yeah. the best story I've Should ever. Should we heard. tell it or no? Nah, it's not, it's not ours to tell. It's not, not ours. ours. Yeah, it's not, not ours, ours to tell at all. But, but I don't know. Like, would if you had a rage round and you felt meat, meat and potatoes while you were getting. Probably the best green goblin head of your life. I'd tell you I'd, how to you know, I know, I'd, sh- I'd show them what all my years of practice were up to. <laughs> You'd yeah. close your eyes. You'd just be like, ah. I would just... It would, <laughs> the, the, the feeling I'd have would be close to winning the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. No, nah, I'm kidding. Well, I know what I like, so just make it easier. <laughs> <laughs> I, I reckon I would get so angry. I reckon no, I it's, genuinely it's pretty like hard to say <coughs> whilst being morally right. Morally? <laughs> no, if I no, well, if I, I, out the next day, though, if I found out the next day, I'd be like, I'd, "Fuck, that's a bit fucked." Yeah. But if in the moment you'd stop, the next day I'd laugh. I, like, I, I don't no see how it. you don't find out on the night unless it's been removed. If I like found appendage, if gone I found you. out the next day, I'd be like, "Jesus, I was obviously like." So so fucked like oh my god but if, if I, I found out in a moment I would actually be pretty upset that if I, I was if I found out the next day man whatever I did last night I would have just done again <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got another one here this is what he says alright so this bird I go to uni <laughs> so, uh, so this bird I go to uni with we shag a bit and she really likes me and thinks we are pretty much dating but I don't like her the same way <laughs> But I think it's because I'm stuck on this two-week fling I had with my childhood crush and she's starting to talk to me again so he doesn't know what to do. Well, you already know what to do. Yeah. You've got the answer right there. If she's coming second second already hey, if she's compared second, to mate. a two-week fling yeah, and you've already yeah. got your answer. Child- or childhood option, crush. Option, five, option three. Build a roster. <laughs> <laughs> if, yeah, you can't. If she's if she's already the second option, you got to get out of that. What would you do if Prime Megan Fox was talking to you? That's essentially a childhood crush. Yeah, I'd I'd do some bad things like take her out on a movie date. <laughs> do you reckon that was like your first wank. first memorable boner? No, Prime Megan Fox. My the I still remember the the morning I realized I liked women. <laughs> I was I was can't what a wait, weird I way was, to like, I was say like, that. No older than four. I was so young. It was like f- four in the morning. This I was is, watching. I was watching Rage bullshit. on our old box TV. I was just watching Rage, and uh, "Sexy Bitch" the music video came on, <laughs> and I just remember like getting fucking square eyes. I'm looking at the TV, <laughs> just watching this music video. And I'd never seen anything like it before. And, like, my mind was blown. I was like, "Wow!" <laughs> and I remember Dad came out and told me to turn the TV down. I must have just been. You would have been, been able to pitch a 10. <laughs> I was like, damn, girl. <laughs> I reckon my first memorable one was when Mary fucking Spider-Man was hanging upside oh, down Jane. and he was macking on with Mary Jane out the window. Really? Or prime Megan Fox. Megan Fox? Megan. Megan. Megan, Megan, Megan. Fox Megan. leaning over that bumblebee's yeah, car. That, oh, yeah, that. That changed my life. I don't, know. I don't know if it was the first, but... I know it was definitely along the line somewhere. <laughs> I watched Transformers last night. Did you? <laughs> nah, I'm going to no. do it on your own, but... What, so you can see Optimus Prime? I saw Optimus Prime on the weekend out. <laughs> Is there any more DMs? Nah, I think that's it. That's it, eh? Pretty good. I'm glad that you guys are reaching out for advice and whatnot. It really means a lot. It's a, it's a shame we can't help. It's nice to hear um, a little bit more from our listeners. So yeah. if you guys got more things, maybe we'll do this like once a month or something. We'll yeah. get you guys to tell us your confessions and stuff like a that. A tale of being mentors. Yeah. Or frauds. <laughs> Either one. Uh, we'll get like a message in two weeks, like everyone's tried the advice. Hey guys, it worked out terribly. <laughs> I'm now in prison. <laughs> Well, 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 well. We made it to another end of a great fucking episode, guys. Honestly, 
This is probably one of the hardest episodes I've ever had to film. We are true professionals, though. We just get in the lab and get it done. Get in the lab, um, Yeah, that's what we call it. The lab. Fucking, there's some, nothing but fucking other thought. Oh, you can't even say it. There's yeah. weird shit getting mixed up. Yeah. Um, the lab. The, we're dying. The lab, bro. The computer died with our logo halfway through. Yeah. SD card fucked up halfway through. Our listeners our are listeners dying off. Left. <laughs> um, but thank you for sticking around. But on another note. And in fact... Kind of leads us to our LFI. Um, oh. we, we always talk about how, like, oh, so much pressure with a podcast, fame, all that. Yuck. And it goes down to that one saying, look, boys, pressure's a privilege. <laughs> that you was the most you know fucked thing I've ever we, heard. We've, it's such we've, a good quote, man. We've got, we've got, got that, that. We've got that privilege. No, honestly, not related to us at all, but in general. Nathan Cleary pre- said it when he won. Yeah. That's what I got it off, Nathan Cleary. And most pressure is a privilege. We probably are the Nathan Cleary of podcasts. No, we'd, we'd be <laughs> we'd be the Todd Carney. <laughs> we'd be the That's Todd Carney. So um, along with that, there's big news that will surface in the other episode coming out this week. Yeah, the news is already it's sort already of out, surfaced yeah. on Instagram. So get on there if you. Keen to see it. Otherwise, we'll be speaking about it in depth. Come yeah. when will the next episode be out? It's going to be out this so, week. So just fucking yeah. listen to it. Yeah. Fuck um, yeah. Just follow our socials to keep up to date with updates. We're going to start doing skits again too. We yeah yeah we've been filming them for the last seven weeks. We just yeah <laughs> we just got on the yeah we just got a huge bank yeah um I've, I should have said this in my fucking intro but I full forgot. How's how's I saw at Kiwana the other day this beach near ours, some dude walking with like this clam on a leash, just walking through Kiwana. <laughs> Seems like you were high. Yeah. No, I'm not even kidding. Were you on psychedelics? You can't uh, believe a word this cunt says, eh? No, nah, it's, it's just gonna be a setup for some. I just don't get joke. it. Like it would have been hard to walk while pulling a muscle. <laughs> Chugging the legs back. Chugging the legs back. I wish it wasn't. Oi, I I wish it wasn't. Oh, yes. Chugging the legs back. That was pretty fucking good, to be honest. (laughs) I wish it wasn't. That is so (laughs) Make a reel out of that. (laughs) Oh, yes. I forgot what the joke was, so I stalled and I looked at my phone. (laughs) (laughs) I checked my phone three times. Yeah, um, oh, I hate Coxie so much. <laughs> right, us five um, stars. Song of the week is It's Time to Move by Sosa UK. Wait, and no, that's all. Yep, thank you. Thanks for listening. Well done if you made it this far. <laughs> <laughs> that sums up everything, eh? Bye. That sums up everything.